Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing really well today. So I am Pierrette Rouleau, and I'm the owner and broker in charge of my company, Rouleau Real Estate Group. And listen, I want to chat with you today about our market. Um, and I am talking uh, primarily to buyers today. And um, I was with a buyer client yesterday, and um, there's, there are things that we do to teach our clients, things that we say and processes that we go through. And I thought it would be just a wonderful opportunity for me to talk through um, a few of those processes. So first of all, here is my opinion. It's Pierrette's Opinion Day. This is a buyer's market. Um, everyone says it's a seller's market, and uh, understandably, it is a seller's market. But here is why a real estate market is really always a buyer's market, because you set the price. Yes, a listing agent does um, extensive comparative market analyses, and I have shared some of those um, in order to help a seller know where their right price is um, in order to um, participate in the market. Um, and those prices are remarkable, right? In the last six months, the average price per house in Asheville has closed 10% higher um, than it did um, a year ago. And in the last 10 years, um, those of us who have home ownership in the city of Asheville, on average, we have seen a 75% increase in our appreciation in the last 10 years. So, so people in home ownership, this has been a wonderful, wonderful stretch. And it is going to continue for the next four to six years because of many, many pressures on the market, including millennials coming into the market now. Um, the changes in the pandemic movement of people as well as historically low interest rates. So look, I wanna talk about five specific things today to help buyers. The first is I think it's important for you to understand the different fiduciary relationships that we have with our clients, whether we are working with a seller or whether we are working with a buyer. So first of all, that word fiduciary is extremely important. And I love to say it just because it's so much fun. So, you know, we have fiduciary duties to the public, um, whether we are working with a seller or a buyer and whether we're listing a home or we are helping a buyer buy a home, every realtor in the United States, right? Every realtor has a duty to disclose material facts, to discover and disclose material facts separate from what their seller would like for them to do, separate from what they would like to do. Um, and we as buyer agents on that side, we have an obligation and duty to discover and disclose material facts. So that's very important. That's one thing that um, is um, absolutely uh, sacrosanct and um, is essential to the realtor process is that we have the consumer always in front of us. Um, so on the selling side, the primary fiduciary duty of a listing agent is to get the seller the most amount of money in the least amount of time. Uh, a listing agent's uh, goal is um, exceptional marketing and negotiation and moving through, moving, moving as the buyers moving through repairs and getting to closing. But the primary fiduciary duty of a listing agent is to get the seller the most money in the least amount of time. I don't really like that phrase, but it's one that we use in the business. The fiduciary duty of a buyer agent is, is it, we want to say to get you the, to help you get the property for the least amount of money. But that's not really practical right now. So, and also a buyer agent has other, other fiduciary duties. So we have duties to help you understand the price in the market. We have duties to help you understand where you need to be in order to help you buy that home that you want to be. We need to help you understand psychologically. We need to educate you, provide knowledge to you, make sure that your lender process is moving along, make sure that the lender has the appraisal process moving along, making sure that we are scheduling all of the inspections that you need to have and helping you understand the complexities of moving through the um, repair stage or negotiation stage or just disclosure stage for you. So our fiduciary duty to you is somehow more complex and it's not just about the least amount of money to pay for a home. That's not true because this is a seller's market. So here are the next four things that I'm going to talk about. So first of all, there are essential differences between buyer agents and seller agents. We have different duties. Um, and those seem at odds with each other, but that's our function as real estate brokers is to broker honest, ethical, straightforward, um, disclosing relationships between a seller who wants to sell and a buyer who wants to buy. 
All right. So that's who we are. So here are the last four quickly. So if you are in the market to buy, you need to get thee to a lender now. Um, every real estate agent knows three or four exceptional lenders with whom they like to work. And so you need to put um, complete your lender paperwork. You need to send your two years of tax returns. You need to go ahead and uh, uh, upload your application materials and get that pre-approval um, letter ready to go. Um, you need to stay in monthly contact with your lender. This is, this is item number three. You need to stay in monthly contact with your lender. You need to update him or her um, if there have been any changes to your work, if you've taken on more debt, if you've received a gift, if you have cash that's come into your account, if you have less debt, right? You don't want more debt if you're, if you're in a lending process. So be ready. Um, yesterday, a house came on the market for my client and we, we were ready. We, and so I went ahead, I pulled all of my research and my paperwork. I prepared the offer to purchase. I got the seller disclosures to the buyer. Um, we made sure that I was in, I made sure that I was in communication with the listing agent. This was a sweet little, almost nine acre parcel of land with a concrete cabin uh, um, out in Transylvania County. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, it was listed at 260, I think, and it will definitely sell for over 260. Um, I did a 20 minute comparative market analysis for my client so that he had um, an understanding that in this market, so this is number four, you will need to be ready to offer full price or more, all right? There are houses in this market that are overpriced and you, because it is really still a buyer's market, you all are stepping up and you're saying, yeah, yeah, I know, I know there's no inventory. We have a third of inventory nationally that we, that, um, that we need to have at this time. In addition, population growth, two words, population growth, right? And so the next 10 years, you guys, for buyers are going to be remarkable, just remarkable, remarkable. Get on in, get on into the fun, get on in. It's an awesome time. Find a realtor that you love, that you respect, that you trust, that you know understands what it means to broker relationships between buyers and sellers so that everyone uh, can enjoy home ownership if that's what you would like to do. So the fourth thing, I think I want to go ahead and finish that is that you will need to come in at full price, uh, most likely, and your agent will guide you carefully on that. It's not just willy nilly, let's go in at full price. It's based on your agent, which I did for my client yesterday, of doing a couple of hours of comparative market analysis and making sure that we know what, others, what other properties are out there, what are buyers willing to pay right now. Like all of this is exceptionally important. And do know that you're probably gonna to have to provide more due diligence fee money. Um, and I can explain that in another, um, another video and you're probably not going to get repairs, right? You might get a couple if there's some electrical items, water items, health and safety items. So every transaction is unique. And yet at this time, this is a really particular time in the market. We simply do not have enough inventory coming on. And, um, and that is a pressure, just a significant pressure. So here's number five. Um, let me show you how to save a little money. Um, and I want to credit um, a fellow colleague over at um, Curator. I can't remember his name right now, but um, he will. Very good. All right, let's do this again. 250, interest rate of three, 3.05, number of years, 30 years. And let's calculate. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you. Apologies. So look, right now, if you have a loan of 250 at 3% interest rates for a 30 year, your original loan is 250 and you are going to make a total of 381 payments. So let's say that that same loan is 250, but you don't purchase until later in the year, um, later, you know, a couple of months and your interest rate is now at 335. So notice where this total payment is of 381,875. So let's calculate that again. 
now you're at 396, 385 minus 396. So what happens is when, so this is where you as buyers are going to save money. Um, if you can have 20% down, you are going to avoid uh, private mortgage insurance. Um, the, the quicker that you can buy and the lower the interest rate that you can buy at, the more money that you are gonna save over the term of your loan. I also want to show you just for kicks, what it would be if you reduce that loan to 15%. So you would say, let's do it again. 30%, 30 year, uh, 30 year calculation is 396,000. If you reduced that loan down to 15 years, you would save um, almost $70,000. So that is a remarkable, remarkable thing. Now, I just want to show you one thing. My ex-husband bought a house in um, the late 80s, and he had 12% interest rate. You ready? $250,000 house, 30-year mortgage, 12% interest rate. Now, he would have paid a million dollars, almost a million dollars in interest. So that is what I want to talk about today. And um, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I love uh, getting on and sharing what I know and kind of, you know, really um, uh, educating you as both buyer and seller consumers. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Again, I am Pierrette Rouleau. And I'm the owner and broker in charge of my company, Rulo Real Estate Group. I am a single broker and I have two um, delightful, lovely, creative, fabulous marketing women who assist me. Um, I am a company uh, and I love all of the facets of um, running my business as a company. And I love being my own boss. I think she's pretty cool. And um, I'd love to do business with you. Uh, have a lovely day and please reach out. Thank you so much.